GE beat estimates for both the top line and the bottom line when it reported at 630, but the stock initially sank. Now it's trading higher. To find out what it is that investors are having trouble coming to a conclusion about, we've got Jim Hardesty on the phone, president of Hardesty Capital Management. Jim, what is it that uh, is either confusing people or uh, whether they're, ch that they're changing their minds about on GE's earnings? Well, GE is basically a tale of two cities, the industrial business and the finance business. The industrial businesses are showing considerable improvement, um, in, in my estimation, and uh, their cash flow and their order backlogs have improved uh, reasonably dramatically in a positive sense. The financial si situation is being affected by two things. One. Uh, the finances, financials are, are tough to talk about because you have a lot of flexibility with respect to reporting earnings and recognizing losses and, and or gains. And two, you have Mr. Obama's statement yesterday, which sort of took a shot at the whole financial uh, sector of our economy. And that is, uh, you know, probably one thing that uh, we, we, we are, leads to a bit of uncertainty for the, the next uh, several quarters. Jim, Jim overall, are you saying, though, that the, the, the president's plan for banks has implications for GE Finance? I think it has implications for the, uh, the whole financial sector, and GE being significant in that sector has been affected. Uh, but I think in, on balance, uh, it, 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 that, that sector will uh, transverse that trans, uh, transition uh, the, 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 the statements that the president made yesterday. Uh, Jim, but arguably, I mean, GE's finance business had a lot of problems long before President Obama even spoke yesterday. I mean, we've been talking about the company managing their earnings uh, to kind of make it look less bad than it really is. What do you make of that? Well, I think GE is quite aware, and, and Jeff Immelt has been uh, working on uh, reducing the scale of, of the financial asset, uh, the earnings base so, uh, over the last couple of years. He's recognized this was a problem area, and they, they have been scurrying to get to contract that business, and they've done a, a pretty good job so far. So I think this was a very good report. Um, we're seeing the cyclical upswing, uh, particularly in the overseas businesses uh, that, that, that GE is uh, very powerful in. Jim, Jim, quickly here, overall, do you think that Jeff Immelt is doing the right thing, in other words, going back to the basics, going back to the old economy, and focusing on those strengths? Absolutely. Uh, there's no question about that. All right. Jim, we thank you very much. Jim Hardesty there of Hardesty Capital Management.